if you don't give yourself the opportunity or if you don't get 100%, you don't have a chance. And, and that was always something that Bill Walsh, the head coach, preached to us. He said, if you guys don't work hard during the week, uh, it's not going to happen on that Sunday or that Monday. is an honor and I'm excited for us to have this opportunity to spend time with him. An individual who in 1985 was drafted 16th overall by the San Francisco 49ers. He went on to win three Super Bowl championships. He was a Super Bowl MVP, an MVP, and check this out. You want to hear about some records? You got just let me just let me do my thing. Okay. You want to hear about some records? 36 NFL records, which is an NFL record, <laughs> 208 touchdowns, 1,549 receptions, 22,859 yards. Wait, 22,895 yards. 22,895? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Keep going. <laughs> so I think he already knows this, but the leadership, the example, what it means to attack the process and to now be recognized as the greatest NFL player to ever play the game. I'm very excited to have this opportunity to be with Jerry and for us to spend the time with him. So how about a round of applause for Jerry? Thank you. Ray? Thanks a lot. Thank you for letting me actually... Be you did everything, you know, correctly. <laughs> so there's so many accomplishments. The Super Bowl, Hall of Fame. What are you most proud of when you look at the whole body of work of what you've accomplished in your life? I think the most <laughs> important thing is probably my approach to the game. It was not about the records. It was not about, uh, you know, all the Super Bowls and all that, you know. It was about my work ethic and, you know, coming from a very small school and, and you know, having people to say, tell you that you're not going to be successful and you proved them wrong. So, so, you know, when I think about my career, it's about my, my legacy and my work ethic. Today I'll do what others won't, so tomorrow I can accomplish what others can't. And it's all about the work ethic having the confidence, and then just going out there and, and, uh, and just getting everything done. What I think is, is so interesting to hear, right? and all the answers, dialogue, when I look at these three words, yeah. you know, I, I always say, when you are intentional, it gives you an opportunity to achieve greatness, which then leads to leaving a legacy. And, you know, for me, when you look at a body of work like yours, the mindset, the, it's, it's this. Yeah, it it's, really you is. You know, it's yeah. for all of us to say, oh, these words are up here, but then to literally be able to look, you know, Tyron, the same thing. It, it, it's, it's living these words. And almost every answer, you're so intentional, almost methodical yeah. in how you've gone about doing things. So how important it is, and I know you've mentioned it, but just hone in on just that intentional piece. It seems like you were tremendously intentional. Well, because I was always looking for that perfect game. Never got that perfect game. Because I could always go back and I can look at something that I did during that game. I, I could have a game where I have eight to ten catches, over 200 some yards, three touchdowns. And I go back and I look at the film, I say, Jerry, you got to make that block. You know, that block right right there could have been a block to spring Roger Craig or Tom Rathman. So it, it was always about trying to be uh, precise on the field. And, and uh, never had that perfect game, but it just kept me motivated to continue to work hard. So here's what's really interesting. We were chatting about the, the intentionality leading up to a game or those two minute drives or those, those moments where people are locked in. It takes leaders to get into that mindset to do what you did. It was really interesting, if you don't mind sharing how the, 
the audience would quiet down and how intentional and focused you guys would all get yeah. together. So Super Bowl 23 guys on the final drive. And you know, that's something I'll never forget because everything is on the line. No one is gonna remember the loser. You got to move the ball over 80 yards downfield. One mistake, ball game is over, you lose the Super Bowl. So Joe came into the huddle, Montana came into the huddle, and then, you know, of course I just told Joe, throw me the ball, that's all you gotta do. No. <laughs> just joking, Joe came into the huddle and, and he, he, he called out two plays, and, and at that time, during a two minute drill, there's two plays, you gotta be able to move fast and, and everything is about timing. And once we broke the huddle, everything went completely quiet. Because I'm so focused, I know exactly what I have to do. Every catch is an important catch. Every route is an important route. And we were able to move the ball all the way downfield. And John Taylor made that catch. Uh, then all of a sudden I heard the crowd. So it's all about being in the zone. Yeah, you might be, you might be nervous. You, you, you might, you know, you might be that fear of failure, but it brings out the best in you. And it always did that for me. It was, it was amazing because I was terrified to death of playing in the Super Bowl. Went out, played my best football game. So it brings out the best in you, even though you have that fear.